Hello, hello. It's Saturday. You're here for Mr. Eric Reads, and I've got you covered. Going back to one of my favorite authors, and you may remember her from stories like The Gruffalo, The Gruffalo's Child, Room on the Broom. That's right. We're talking about Julia Donaldson, and this time it's a book that I've never seen before called The Snail and the Whale. So, on this 364th episode of Mr. Eric Reads, we're going back to Julia Donaldson. So sit back, relax, and enjoy The Snail and the Whale here on Mr. Eric Reads. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray-blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot, and this is the snail with an itchy foot. This is the sea snail who slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffled and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wiggle, stay still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffled and sighed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a ride. So this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Ride one it around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright, a humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held out in the starlit sky and said to the snail, come sail, won't you say I? This is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs in far-off lands. See our tiny snail friend on his tail? With fiery mountains and golden sands. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And these are the caves beneath the waves where colorful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swim past the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky, so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky, the sea, and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and she gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day the whale lost his way. 
These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with an ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. And this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in the bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and she started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight and don't talk. This is the board as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. A snail, a snail. The teacher turns pale. Look, says the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. This is the tide coming into the bay, and these are the villagers shouting, hooray, as the whale and the sail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves, of shooting stars in enormous waves, and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her loopy, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. And then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray-blue humpback whale. The end. That was Julia Donaldson's The Snail and the Whale here on Saturday night's Mr. Eric Reads. One more day and then there's a full 365 consecutive books one year. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I hope that you enjoyed this story. Come back again tomorrow for our one year celebration. So stay safe. Please wash your hands and remember to practice kindness in everything that you do and with everybody you meet. See you guys around.